Number four, balance the following equations. And then we have letter D in this stack of balancing equations. We have Fe solid, so iron solid plus H2O liquid will yield Fe3O4 solid plus H2O gas. I'm going to rewrite the equation just so that I have more room to play around with. And if you guys have been watching these balancing equations videos, we know that when we balance, we don't have to write any states. Who cares? I don't, right? Do you care? I don't care. <laughs> so we don't have to write, you know, solid, liquid, or gas. When we're trying to balance, it makes absolutely no difference. So now it's just boiled down to this. When we're doing balancing equations, remember we like to make that chart. So here's my beautiful chart. The reactant side is always on the left. Those are all of your elements that are to the left of the yield sign. And then you have your products. So that's everything here to the right of the yield sign. And what you're doing is you're going to be listing all of your individual elements on one side of the chart. Ultimately, you're going to do it to both sides. But let's just go with the uh, left side first. Looks like I have iron, hydrogen, and oxygen. So those are my three elements. I have iron, Fe, hydrogen, and oxygen. And always just replicate it. So iron, hydrogen, and oxygen. Now you're going to put the numbers. How many of each do you have? Well, I have one lonely iron here, right? There's a secret one in front of here. So I have one iron. H2O, there's two hydrogens. And then there's one oxygen. Coming on to the right side, the product side, looks like I have three irons, and it should be a Fe. Hold on, it is not a fluorine. So this is three Fe. So, yeah, three irons, four oxygens. So I'm going to skip down. I'm going to put it down over here. And then two hydrogens. Okay. So, looking at it, looks like my irons need to be balanced and my hydrogens need to be balanced. Here's a quick tr uh, trick to help you balance an equation in the most efficient way. You might be asking to yourself, who should I balance first? Should I try to go for the irons or should I try to go for the oxygens? You're always going to balance the ones first that are in compounds first not alone. So for example, this oxygen is bound up by a water, right? That's where the oxygen is here. This oxygen is bound up by Fe3O4. If I'm analyzing my irons, this iron is bound up in that compound, Fe3O4, but this iron is all alone. The rule of thumb is you always want to balance the ones that have compounds in them first, because at the end of the day, you can do all your balancing and then you can just add your coefficient to your little old lone guy. So always try to balance elements that are wound up in compounds on both sides first. Just makes everything easier. So I'm going to be dealing with the oxygen. I have a one and a four. Is there any number that I can multiply by 1 to get to 4? Yeah, right? 1 times 4. And that number is the coefficient now of the compound that had the oxygen in it. So I'm going to put a 4 here. But I got to be fair. If I'm multiplying the 4 by the oxygen to get 4, I have to multiply by the hydrogen. So your oxygen now turns into a 4. But now what's your hydrogen? 4 times 2, right? 4 times 2 is 8. Okay, let's see. So my oxygens are balanced. I have my hydrogen, 1 and 3, and I have my hydrogen, 8 and 2. Which one should I balance first? Technically the ones that are bound to compounds on both sides. But if we look at the hydrogen, 
On the reactant side, this is bound up by H2O. And on the hydrogen side, on the product side, this is H2. This is by itself, just like hydrogen is by itself. So does it really matter at this point? No, you could do whichever one you want. So let's start from top to bottom. Let's balance the iron. I have a one here. I want to get it to three. Is there any number that I can multiply by one to get to three? Yeah, right. I could times by three. And that number is the coefficient of the one that you want to balance. So I'm going to put a three here. Now I have three iron. Okay, so that guy's balanced. Now we just got to go to the hydrogen. Is there any number that I can multiply by 2 to get to 8? Yeah, right? 2 times 4. And that number is the number that goes in the front of the element that you want to balance. So I'm going to put a 4 here. That means that I have 8 total, and that's all balanced. So that's the end. Once you have the same numbers for every element um, on both sides, you're done. So this one would be 3 iron plus 4H2O yields, there's a secret 1 here, you have 1 Fe3O4, and then plus 4H2s. And that's it. Guys, we balanced it. What do you think? Let me know in the comments uh, what you think about the chart method. Hopefully it helps. Um, and yeah, if it did, click the like button, tell your friends, spread the word, help the channel out, and if you want, you can subscribe, but if not, totally fine. We're still here for you guys. All right, I'll see you guys on the next lesson. Have a great, great day. Bye-bye.